Hello, Annie Cod here, and in today's video I thought I'd take you through all the smart switches in Rust. I'll show you a quick operation on how they work, how much they cost, and I'll even give you some really quick and easy example builds to get you going. There's been a lot of people asking for these smart switches. Well, you don't have to wait anymore. Here they are. Smart, smart switches. switches. The first one isn't even a smart switch. It's just a normal switch, but they're all a similar size and shape. So we're going to start off with a nice easy one and work our way up. If there is a switch you want to see specifically, look down in the description and there'll be a timestamp for it. Just click on the timestamp and away you go. So the simple switch, it costs a five high qual and it's as simple as put power in the bottom out of the top and then it's just a flick switch on and off that's about as simple as you're gonna get now there is a couple of side toggles you've got the switch on and switch off i will give you a couple of examples on each uh, for this example what i'm going to do is use a laser and the laser is hooked up to the on switch so when someone walks through the laser and triggers it it should automatically turn the switch on and there we go the light automatically comes on now a interesting thing to note about this is once you've stepped off the pressure pad or out of the laser it will automatically deactivate again if you put the laser into the off which is what i'm doing here as you can see the light is on as soon as you step into the laser it automatically turns it off and then it stays off until you physically activate it again this is good for if you want doors to automatically close or if you want sentry turrets to automatically activate for example it's a very simple switch but you can do two tons with it so the next one then smart switch this one costs five high qual and one gear and it's a timer switch again very simple except this one turns itself off all we need is the usual power in the bottom and out of the top i'm just going to use a splitter here and once you've done that you can alter the time so this is set to 10 seconds once you set it and activate the switch it'll stay turned on for 10 seconds you can see the timer actually spinning and that spins in real time as well so if you set the timer a lot longer it will take the timer a lot longer to spin full 360 so because the timer switch has also got a toggle on in the side you can treat it similar to a normal on and off switch so we're going to use the laser again we're going to hook this up to the toggle on and then we're going to alter the time to five seconds this time so in theory when i break the laser the light should stay on for five seconds and then automatically turn off this is good if you want to walk into the house and set up an automatic watering system for your crops or turn the lights on or you could even do it the opposite way around and turn the lights off when you walk out when you activate a pressure pad for example smart switch so the next one then is an and switch now this one also costs five high quality metal and the only difference with this one is it's got two inputs at the bottom both need to receive power for the switch to work so this is what it looks like when it's on the wall it has got an a and a b input in the bottom and one single output at the top so i'm going to put the power out into some lights so we can see when it's working and then just as an example i'm going to hook the a and the b up to the live splitter just so you can see what's happening so when one receives power you do get a green light the light on the left is for the a the light on the right is for the b and then the light in the middle is red or green to show an active pass through so as you can see there both a and b are receiving in power therefore the light in the middle turns green and lets power through so i'm just going to give you one more example using our beloved laser and if i hook this up to the b you can see there's no power going into it currently however if i step into the light it'll automatically activate this is good if you're setting up a trap base uh, maybe you want a turret to auto activate and they have to cross two sections first to activate a door opening or there's lots of ideas you can use an and switch for it's a really underused piece of kit and i would suggest if you do want those tier three bases out there get used to using them smart switches so the next one is probably my favorite switch and it's the x or switch this one also costs five high qual and this one allows pass through if only one input receives power 
If both outputs receive power, then it'll block all pass through. Now, you know in your living room when you've got a light switch either side of the room and no matter which switch you press, it'll always turn the light on and off. Even if both switches are on, it'll turn the light off. Well, this is what the X or switch does. So I'll show you quickly how to wire it up. And it is really good if you've got a big base and if you stood at the front of the base, you can hit a light switch and turn the light on and off. If you stood at the back of the base, you can do the same thing. You don't always have to run to the same bit of the base to activate or deactivate your power. So this one is pretty simple. The power out will always go to the lights or the turrets or the doors, whatever you want to use it for. And the only difference this time is we're going to put some bog standard switches in between. So the power out of the switches goes into either side of the A or B of the X or switch and again it's pointless putting the switches right next to each other uh, we're gonna assume that we're at opposite ends here you do need to make sure that you've got the switches powered so we're just going to use the power from the splitter here not the most economical way of wiring it up but I am just showing you the operation so as you can see both lights are off However, if we hit this switch, it'll turn the lights on. And if we run to the opposite end and do the exact same thing, it'll turn the lights on and off. But now watch, if we run over here and then we hit the switch, it'll turn that light off. And this is a really good setup, as I mentioned before, for the big bases. So you can turn the lights on and off anywhere in the base and you don't always have to run in pitch black to the front doors or wherever you place the switches. Really, really good piece of kit. It has got the lights, same as the AND switch. So it does show you a green light when electricity is passing through and it'll show you a red and a green depending what's active and what's not active so there we go that's the x or switch the final one we're going to cover switch is an or switch now the description of the or switch is a logic gate that allows pass through if either input receives power so this really doesn't matter if it's one or the other it will always let power through and if you've got a high power going through one of the sides it will always output the highest power this one has got a crazy animation as you can see this thing lights up a room as it is without even power going into it surprisingly uh, so you have got the a and b inputs and one output um, it costs five high quality metal and we're gonna hook one of the sides up to a laser and when we step into the laser it will activate the switch now just for a complete opposite i'm gonna put a bog standard switch there make sure it's all powered up and what should happen when we hit the switch it should automatically turn on the lights and then if we turn the lights off on or run into the laser it won't do anything because the switch is allowing electric through if the switch is off and we run over to the laser there you go it's active so this is good for example if you're running on batteries uh, and turrets on solar panels for example you can have someone running through a laser to put power into that turret and it activates the turret or if you're at home and you're online and you don't want to leave it turned on you can just simply turn the switch on and activate the turret that way. That's just one example. There's a million different things you can use these circuits for. And there will be more future videos with some more complicated builds. If you haven't seen the previous builds explaining the other components, feel free to go and check them out so you've got a good idea for the next upcoming more complicated videos coming up. If you want to see what I'm working on, check out Twitter. If you want to see what videos coming out next, follow me on Instagram and you'll see a video's thumbnail before the video's even released on YouTube. I have got Patreon now, so if you want to support me in that way, it's never expected, but by all means, I'll be eternally grateful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you don't want to miss another. If you hit the like button, it lets me know I'm doing a good job, so I'll get similar videos out in the future. If you've watched it this far, let me know you're a legend down below. And again, see you in the next video. Thank you all. Bye.